This video is for anyone like me who has uh, oversensitivity or hypersensitivity to the heat. I've got multiple sclerosis and the way that heat affects me is that my electrical system when it's heated up just has to work that much harder and I get a lot of what are called pseudo exacerbations. Those of you with MS you probably know about this. Symptoms from previous exacerbations will kind of come back to haunt you when you get too hot. A few months back I posted a video comparing two kinds of cooling vests. Uh, and I'll post a link to the video right here. Uh, two kinds of cooling vests, one's evaporative and one's ice based. And uh, since then, I just kind of went nuts and bought a lot of technologies that I found to be marketed as cooling. This is my overview of all that cooling stuff with my perspective built in. Some of it I think has worked really well and some of it is not so good. Before I even go through any of these technologies and the stuff I bought um, to try to stay cool, uh, number one, air conditioning is great. Number two, sometimes nothing beats a cold glass of water. Ice water will keep you cold from the inside. Uh, laying on a cold concrete floor is excellent. Cold showers, cold baths. I find that if I really get overheated, nothing works as well as those things. All right, so uh, speaking of cold water, one of the things that I've found to be just most uh, effective and simple is a half full canteen or bottle of water like this one that I will just lay in my freezer like this and let it freeze halfway. That way, when I need it, I just pull it out. It's half full of ice. I fill the rest with water and I've got a nice bottle of ice water. You can use a Nalgene like this. It won't break when it freezes or you can just use any plastic water bottle. All right, the next thing I'll mention is that I've invested some bucks in some big old sun hats like this one. And uh, I felt kind of silly wearing these at first, but they really do keep the sun off. Light colors, big brim. And I found that this outdoor research hat has the biggest brim of any I've found and really keeps the sun off and helps keep me cool. I've also been experimenting with some baseball hats like this one, like a typical uh, kind of like sun desert baseball hat, but they also have one of these. You just snap these on to the brim and you end up with a huge sun visor that drops over your neck and ears. So fully set up, the hat looks like this. In the clothing category, um, you can also get cooling head and neck sleeves like this one. It's basically a giant tube and you can wear it a whole bunch of ways. I think the max coverage method for wearing this guy is something like this. Uh, you might put this on with a hat over it so that it looks like this. You can also peel it back down and make it more of a neck cover. I haven't found these things all that effective. You know, they cover you up, but it's kind of like wearing a scarf and I feel like I get sweatier and hotter when I wear one of these. The one exception is dunking it in water. So when it's fully dunked and you put this on, it's really nice. It holds a lot of water. You can kind of spread that water to your head. It's kind of like wearing a swimming suit on your head. That water comes dripping down. The water itself is cool. And if you're in a dry climate, that water will evaporate and take some of your heat away. A couple more items of clothing that I've picked up. I've got some of these cooling sleeves, which are sometimes advertised as cooling sleeves, other times advertised as sun sleeves or UV protection sleeves. And uh, before I got these, I was kind of skeptical. I thought, you know, how is that going to keep me cool? It's like adding a long sleeve shirt. Um, but they're skin tight and I think they hold a little bit of perspiration and it just kind of allows that perspiration a little bit more time on your body to kind of have some cooling. And it's weird, if you put one on, I've got one on and one, and one arm exposed, this arm actually just feels a little bit cooler. So it gives a sensation of coolness. It's also white, so it reflects that sunlight. And then I also have a pair of these black cooling sleeves, which are really nice lycra, like really, really nice fabric. Feel really good, but the thing I don't get about these is that they're black. So that sun hits these guys and they really heat up. So in the sun, I would definitely prefer the white sleeves. The black ones I've found just to be like way, way too hot. They're different from compression sleeves. They're not super tight. They're just really, really thin lycra. So the next thing I'll mention is that I got one of these Frog Togs chili pads. Um, this is an evaporative uh, cool down towel. It's kind of like a foamy kind of rubbery stuff. And similarly to the um, head wrap I had on earlier, you soak this baby in water. And once it's soaked, it holds a lot of water in it. So unlike a regular towel, it doesn't drip as much. You can just wear it like this with ice cold water on it and it does feel really good. You can take this thing and uh, flop it over your head, you know, keep your head cool, etc. It's a way to carry a big wet soaking towel around um, that will stay wet longer. 
Again, really good in dry climates, not so good if it's super humid, except the cold temperature feels good if you're in ultra humidity. The bummer is that they, they get you really messy. You end up soaked, you know, soaked through, because basically what you're doing with this guy is just putting a lot of water on you. That water gets on you and it drips on your clothing, etc. So it's not great if you want to stay, you know, really dry and cool at the same time. All right, moving on. Um, I also got a bunch of neck chillers. Uh, this is an ice pack neck chiller. So it's full of ice packs, put it in the freezer, put it on your neck, and it's actually really chilly. I would recommend this one. Uh, these are big blocks of ice on your throat. Your throat's got a bunch of arteries and uh, you know blood going through it, and it will cool you off. It feels pretty good. Um, I got a couple of these guys. This is an Ice Raptor. Um, brand and what you do with this guy is you soak it in water and then you freeze it and then I got this little one it is called a chillets and the chillets again you soak it in water and you can freeze it or you cannot freeze it it's already kind of falling apart this chillets one so I'm not sure what's going on with that I had it in the freezer and you know it's kind of stuck to itself of all the neck chillers that I got I find that this big boy with the big ice packs in it is the coolest. It's also a little bit more awkward. I find that if I'm wearing it, I have to kind of hold it like this to keep my neck cold. Um, whereas these guys are a little bit less awkward. You can kind of tie them on. And then similarly, you can soak these things in water or you can soak them in water, put them in the freezer and you've got kind of like a frozen halo of ice water around your neck. The only thing I'd say negatively about these neck chillers is that it's just a small amount of cooling. You're only cool in one region as opposed to the vests, which I'm gonna show you in a second, that cool your entire torso. All right, moving on to the vests. Uh, as I mentioned, you've got a couple of choices. Um, there are ice vests like this one, and there are evaporative cooling vests like this one. And then there are some even more high-tech a uh, chill vest that was circulating uh, cooling fluid. Fluid. I don't have one of those. Uh, note that people with MS, you can get one of these um, free online and I'll put a link down in the description for how you do that. All right, let me talk about the ice vest first. It looks a lot like a flak jacket. Uh, you put this baby on and instead of Kevlar, you've got ice packs. These are ice packs here, ice packs here, and all around the back are ice packs. Unfortunately for me, I find this thing actually warms me up when I'm outside more than it cools me down. I think it's because there's just so much fabric up here. It's almost like wearing a, like a sweater vest or something. I feel like it warms me up up here. It does cool my tor torso and I wear it inside quite a bit. One downside with this ice vest that I have to mention is that these ice packs, if you lay them in the freezer flat, they're great. If you lay them in the freezer and they end up bent a little bit, you end up putting on this ice vest and the ice packs are kind of like jamming into you. So it's not a perfect design. The ice vest is sort of made up of a bunch of pockets and these ice packs come out. A lot of these vests have supplemental ice packs. You can keep one set in the freezer, the other set in the vest. When the vest gets warm, pop the guys in the freezer into the vest, take the packs out of the vest and into the freezer. So it's a good system. But by far my favorite uh, cooling vest is this one. This is my evaporative cooling vest. And all you do with this guy is dunk it in water and put it on. Kind of like a diaper, it doesn't drip too much. You have to wring it out a little bit, but after that, it really doesn't drip. And surprisingly, it doesn't really soak you through that much. Um, if I had a really dry t-shirt on when I first put this on and when I took it off, the t-shirt would not be that different. Um, number one, it feels really cool because it takes on the temperature of the water you soak it in. So if you soak it in cool water, the vest gets cool. And then if you're in a dry climate, this baby evaporates and with that comes your body heat. So you're losing your body heat as you're walking around. Uh, one thing I'll say about this one, it's a little bit loose. So it's not totally skin tight, skin fitting. I think I'm gonna sew it up on the sides so it'll really be skin tight. You can wear these guys under your clothes, uh, over, under your shirt, over your shirt, etc. Sometimes I'll just wear this with no shirt. The one negative in humidity, the only benefit is the coldness of the water temperature because the evaporation is not happening. All right, just a couple more. Uh, one is that I bought some ice packs that are not meant for cooling but are meant to be therapeutic. So this is just an ice wrap uh, that is meant for like, you know, sore ankles and wrists and that kind of thing. I've been using this as a neck wrap or this on my ankles and wrists, and it's really nice. Another one of those that's similar is this big boy. Uh, this is an ice down, uh, ice wrap. So I will put this thing on in the house, and I'll walk around like this in public, and it just means that this whole area 
has ice on it, it feels good, and I feel like it lowers my core temperature a lot more than like a little neck ice. And then uh, the last one I'll mention is actually one of my favorites. This is a dog bed for keeping dogs cold. You can buy these on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down there. Um, it is a, it's called a Kim Pets. There are a bunch of these. The idea is that you lay it on the, on the ground and your dog really loves it, but I really love it too. Just lay this thing on the floor or on the carpet, lie on it, and you've got an ice connection all the way down your torso. So for me, I've just gone out and bought a bunch of stuff to see what works for me. Uh, some of it is great. Like I love this evaporative cooling vest. I don't think it looks too awful. And it's the water temperature really cools it off and the evaporation is great when the humidity is not too high. But with that said, I've got to repeat again that some of the best ways to stay cool are very old fashioned. A cold glass of water, a cold shower, lying on a piece of concrete in the basement is just great. Uh, if you have other solutions or ideas for staying cool, I would love to hear them. Please post them in the comments, I'll respond. I'm always looking for ways to be able to do things out in the heat and not have my multiple sclerosis really flare up and drive me crazy. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up if you appreciate the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more things of this kind.